also have the artist alley, the street pass zone. Yep. They have a whole lot of places over on the side, like down through the hallways, where you can just go and chill out if you don't feel like playing Smash. Uh, I can't tell if they're doing hand warmers or not. It looks like they're attacking each other. Um, I believe so. So we got here Prozac versus Sweep. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna hope Spooky has the names on the right side. I'm just gonna say Prozac is the green one. But we got a Chic Ditto <laughs> here. But it, it's so hard to tell when it's a Ditto. Like you just don't yeah. know who's who. So I'm, I'm just gonna call them Green Chic and White Chic. Uh, green Chic had almost had an SD early. Chic Dittos have almost like an unspoken rule. Like it's very easy to chain grab another Chic yeah. as Chic. So what Chic players have done is unspokenly like soft band chain grabbing on each other yeah and uh, if almost you, if you really really want to win people will start chain grabbing yeah uh, but generally as a rule it's like I want to retain my honor and I want to beat you without this yeah. tactic that's like, so easy to pull off like it's chain so grab, useful. like you can normally do it to like around 80 ish percent and like if you just do like down throw forward to a fair and then to regrab like you get the same damage anyway you just cut the time in more than half, so uh, yeah, and in my and in my opinion, sheep players should be going for the combos rather than the chain grabs in yeah. most cases, because it makes them better players. Yeah, definitely. Like if you're if you're able to adapt to their DI and stuff, it's it's much better for you as a player, because you're not going to be able to chain grab every character. So being able to react to text and react to DI is a very important tool to have in this game. So as we're talking about this. They're very even game right now. Yeah. Uh, Got a lot of needles going from uh, from White Sheik, I believe. Uh, sweet. Yeah, they're, he's trying to keep on the platforms uh, a little bit, but I mean, you can't really platform camp Sheik because she just stays on their platform on the ledge and she doesn't care. She's not going to take any damage from needles. Uh, Green Sheik actually capitalized really well on White Sheik right there and was able to finish off that stock nice and early. Let's see if White Sheik can do similar. Yeah. She doesn't really have any like good reverse hitting moves. Like her back air hits strong, but it kind of has to be sweet spotted on the tip of the foot for it to really knock away. So when Sheik's land on the stage of the Sheik mirror, it's really hard for Sheik to just send her back off stage at a really strong trajectory, unless she can, unless she's really used to doing the reverse there. And we're seeing a lot of crouch cancel down smashes from Sweet yep. White Sheik. Oh, nice grab. Uh, Green nice. Sheik uh, extended his hitbox by using the forward tone, and White Sheik was able to grab it. Nice tech chase, but doesn't get the combo. Yeah, it's, a, it's always kind of irritating for the opponent when that thing kind of happens. Like, I'm going to go out and hit you, and this should hit you, but my uh, my grab hitbox just kind of yep. reaches out and takes that move from me. Yep, definitely. I got some needles to dash attack there. Well, it would have been better to go into a grab right there and get a combo off of that. Both Sheik's really utilizing their... Alright, so it's, it sounds like Sweet is the green Sheik and the white Sheik is Prozac. Alright. Okay. Thank you, guys. Uh, would talk? you hate me if I said I just forgot what Spooky just said? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he just said that the names were switched. Okay, perfect. Okay. But now, but now they're correct. Right, he might get a kill off of this. Nice forward air tech chase. No. Nice needle. Oh, oh. unfortunately, the explosion hits him as he's coming out of his own teleport. And just like that, Sweet is able to take the first game. So unfortunately, because it's a mirror match, the stage doesn't really matter. It just kind of comes down to which stage you prefer when you lose. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see them just go right back to Battlefield. Um, some some Sheik's like Fallen of Dreams, but no, it looks like we're going to go right back to Battlefield. Prozac wasn't happy with that performance. Yeah, some stages can have an advantage. Even in dittos, you can say, well, I can take this advantage here on this stage. And it all depends on play style, really. Yep, definitely. I think that's something people don't really consider when they're counterpicking uh, stages during a ditto, is the other player's style. Yep. But that's all moot because we're back on Battlefield. And actually, I feel like this stage does benefit Prozac style. He was kind of lending towards the platform camping in the last match. He did like to be up there. Um, so the stage is definitely good for that. Uh, Sheik is very easy. Not very easy. Very good at accessing that top platform. Yeah. Because it's, it's not too far up there. 
on Fortunate DI on that forward air, and just like that, lost Prozac lost his first stocks. Right, it looks like uh, Swing is going to take this. Or wait, no, uh, Prozac is going to take this uh, next stock here pretty soon. Curse. <laughs> Unfortunately, now Sweet is turning it around. Yep. He's not having it. Oh, he tried to go for the mind game recovery, but Sweet had over 100%, so it delayed his roll get up. And it was just enough so that he was still technically owning the ledge. Wow. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, if you are under 100% of damage, you roll up the ledge very, very quickly, and you have to time your uh, ledge hogs a little bit different. But over 100%, you recover just a little bit slower. Well, actually, yeah. a lot slower. Yeah, a lot slower. <laughs> As you saw, she kind of like crawled up the ledge. <laughs> and it only affects uh, your ledge options, not your regular get up options on the stage. Those are just dependent on. Uh, if you land it face down or face up is what determines what get up attack you actually do. A really nice punish there uh, with the Great recovery. Out. Sweet is just uh, dominating lead right now. It doesn't seem like Kozak really has an answer. Almost transformed backs. And he might have a pocket spacey and is used to using shine after his aerial. Oh, oh. he's a he actually meant to do oh, it. Oh, okay. Maybe having a little fun with it. Maybe his Sheik is better than his... I mean, his Zelda is better than his Sheik. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. He's like, I got this, bro. You're not gonna, you're not gonna upstage me. I'm gonna show you the power of Zelda. Like, I'm not gonna let you disrespect me with that Zelda. Uh, fortunately, yeah. neither of them know how to land sweet spots. There yeah. we go. You know what's <laughs> funny is, is a lot of sheiks will actually transform to Zelda for the last stock. Yeah. Oddly enough, they'll just make people think, oh, this is Zelda. I can approach her. It's so easy. Yeah. Said you're not getting that one from me like then that. Then that happens. <laughs>